the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 131, Job 4-7, Eliphaz's Rebuke Job's friends came to Job, who went through hard times because of great affliction. However, Eliphaz began to condemn Job rather than to comfort him. First point, Job argued with his friends regarding his suffering. The first argument between Job and his friends is recorded in chapters 4 to 14. The first dialogue is the attempt of the friends to console Job by advising him to repent. But this only increases Job's misery. The second argument is recorded between chapters 15 and 21. The theme of this second argument was sinner, and this made Job cry out to God all the more. The third argument is recorded in chapters 22 to 26, and Job's friends accused Job for sinning even further. All throughout their conversation, Job's friends tried to solve this through the theory of causality. This was where Job disagreed. Instead of causality, Job kept asking why God would do this to him. When Job questioned God, God eventually provided him with answers in chapters 38 to 41. Second point, Eliphaz began the argument by rebuking Job. Among the friends, Eliphaz was the first to speak. But now trouble comes to you, and you are discouraged. It strikes you, and you are dismayed. Should not your pity be your confidence, and your blameless ways your hope? Eliphaz said that Job used to be the one who advised and disciplined others, and how now he had lost hope in God. He failed to see that Job looked after others and tried to protect the weak. But Eliphaz rebuked Job and told him to look back on his mistakes. Third point, Eliphaz tried to explain Job's suffering using causality and told him to repent. Eliphaz claimed that Job's suffering was due to his sin. He interpreted the situation using the theory of causality and did not go on to consider God's mercy. What he did not see was that God does not govern the world based on causality but through his will and his vision. Thus, the Bible is full of God's promises, blessings, and mercy. Eliphaz claimed that humans are not righteous and that instead they are weak with limitations. Eliphaz used his own theories and interpretations, which were totally subjective. Eliphaz thought he was helping and said all that he wanted to say, but he failed to persuade Job until the end. Fourth point, Job claimed that he was innocent and told Eliphaz that his words did not console him at all. To Eliphaz, Job replied and said that he was innocent. Job stated that his suffering was given by God. He furthermore told Eliphaz that his words were not consoling in the slightest. Job said to his friends, Deliver me from the hand of the enemy. Rescue me from the clutches of the Lutherans. What Job was asking for was not actual help. What he wanted was for them to be with him without criticizing him. But Job's friends did not have such a heart. Job moreover stated that he was indeed righteous. 
but God later rebuked him for this. Relent, do not be unjust. Reconsider, for my integrity is at stake. Fifth point, Job started to call out for God who was silent. Job started to speak of his suffering. When I lie down, I think how long before I get up. The night drags on, and I toss and turn until dawn. My body is clothed with worms and scabs. My skin is broken and festering. Job spoke out to God. He asked God to end his life. Job furthermore asked God why he was given such suffering. What is mankind that you make so much of them, that you give them so much attention, that you examine them every morning and test them every moment? Will you never look away from me or let me alone even for an instant? Job asked the gods whether he had actually sinned, and if so, then he asked for God's forgiveness. Why do you not pardon my offenses and forgive my sins? For I will soon lie down in the dust. You will search for me, but I will be no more. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading. This is amazing because so many people tell me, I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.